Well, hello there, everyone. Vince here. Welcome back to my Norp Apolog gameplay series. I do hope you're having a fantastic day, by the way. I'm going to select some of these talents here to start off with. Looks like we have three extra points that I can put into this talent tree. Every seventh house you build, builds another for free. That could be a good one. And Hiking Buddy, that could be also a good one. And what about Bullet Breath? Sure, we'll get that as well. Let's go apply for now. There we go. We now have all these different talents applied to the account. Look at this, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> So I have my little stash ready to go. I'm going to turn on auto housing to begin with, I think. We'll see if that's a good idea. Either way, let's begin to get all these shards. I'm really having a good time with the Norp Rapper Log. It's a freaking fun game. I was about to swear then. Then I realized YouTube doesn't like swearing too much. <laughs> Look, the thing is, it's about $8 on Steam right now. Pretty solid stuff all around. And it seems like each time you play through your run by prestige, you obviously get faster and faster runs in the future. It's one of those situations where... If you like idle or clicker games, I think you'll have a pretty solid time with this title. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly get some runners if possible. I'm going to build the express to begin with. I have houses being built automatically, by the way, here as well. I feel like that's going to be a helpful thing for us in the long run, okay? Let me just purchase my first and second runners. So now we can actually start generating some of the shards, which is good. I'm just slowly but surely assisting here as well by tapping on the shards to push that towards the stash. I'll turn auto house off now, might build an extra house just in case, but what I want to do is end up spamming the slammers, which we'll do in a second here, just smashing that rock by the way. <laughs> so let me get my first slammer here everyone, and I'm going to get meditation and warm up and another slammer, there we go. So now we have some generation for the shards, which is excellent. We have our runners and our shard generation going on, I'll purchase another runner there, and definitely increase their capacity as well. To do that now I have speed unlocked so that's 3300 or so of the shards just purchase another runner because at the moment we have a lot of shards just sitting there not really being collected let me increase capacity again looks like we have one Norp at the top of the screen that I can spend here so let me just go slammer there we go I can now actually start building some more advanced buildings I might purchase some more housing there as well because I need some more Norps at this point I do get a free house by the way every single seventh house built so I'm not too sure how important that is in the long run, but we'll see. You should kick in eventually, obviously. Just purchase a whole bunch more slammers. We have five more Norps on the way here. Okay, very good. At the bottom of the screen, by the way, you can find the compression bar, guys. This indicates when a compression is going to happen. So when, obviously, the shards build too high, the compression event will occur. So at the moment, we're nowhere near a compression event. We can purchase some more housing there. Increase capacity and build more runners. Okay, we have a huge amount of runners now. I think that's all I'll need for now. And hopefully soon, motivation will kick in. Yes, it did. There we go. See, that's motivation, everyone. Now my slammers are on fire and they're smashing into that rock. That's right. Work harder, boys. Just going to continue to increase capacity here for my runners. I think having more capacity is definitely going to be great in the long run, all in all. Now let's purchase the archery range as well, since my build does really need me to set that rock on fire. I need 650 of the shards though, which shouldn't be too hard to get. Let me get another runner here. Increase capacity as well. More housing as well. Let me turn auto housing on at this point. I love the fact that you can just keep replaying this game over and over again essentially. Like I know people say that you can run out of things to do pretty quickly, but I don't see that happening. Like unless you sit here and play the game non-stop without any breaks, and yeah, maybe. But I mean, right now I'm having a blast. Alright, there we go everyone. I now have my fire arrows. Sweet. So now my slammer is going to work extra harder. I can change my colour with F1, F2. Oh, wow, okay, you can change the background, everyone. Right. Interesting. Well, now my rock's on fire. You can see the amount of shards being generated. See what I mean, guys? Need to have that rock on fire, essentially. So I just purchased more runners there, everyone. I think that's a good idea. Let me increase my jumps and build more slammers. Oh, okay, look at this, everyone. Requires at least 10 drones that have been bought during this compression cycle. Slammers want to give those stupid robots a challenge. Slammers do an additional three preparation jumps. That's pretty cool. Now we're, now we're definitely starting to generate some shards, which is great. Let me build some housing. Let me increase capacity of the runners. There we have it. Let's get the rock analysis lab, everyone. Then I can start getting some weak points on my little rock. There we go. Let's do it now. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> so many shards, man. That is fantastic. Now the shards should really start to be coming in. Wow. Compression event's almost happening here as well. See, small things like that really do make a big difference. Kakoa Cafe. Then we have the Nort Propulsion Lab as well. That's for the bombers. I'll get all of that, thanks. So we need to get a Mountaineer when possible, by the way. 
There we go. Just got a Mountaineer now. My first Mountaineer. Then I'll try and get a Bomber as well. There we go. Got my first Bomber. Off he goes with this little guy. <laughs> See you later, buddy. All right. So now we're kicking. Almost at 10,000 of the shards already. The Mountaineer has that little buddy there. Look at him. That's with that talent. I can start purchasing weapons straight away here if I want to, by the way. Which is the, I think, the weapon building. Where is it here? The gun rock. Just need 10,000 of those shards, which I should get right now. Yep, there we go. I can now get some military equipment happening in my run. Rifle Nort or Grenade Launcher. Cool. Let me increase combo chance here for my slammers. Build more slammers. Hit the weak spot in that rock. There's all the shards. Okay, things are looking pretty good right now, at least. I hope auto housing's on, is it? No, it's off. Let me turn on auto housing, just so I can continuously get some more Norps coming into my town now at this point. See, I can increase their speed as well, everyone, by one pixel per second. <laughs> okay, I'll do that now. Just increase their speed a bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Look at them go now. Runners are blitzing it. Delivery rush, 42,000. Wow. Hires two Norps to act as cheerleaders. <laughs> That's a pixel increase in speed again. Okay, well, the runners are definitely doing well. Now my slammers are motivated. Let me increase combo chance again. We have six Norps, by the way. So let me just start trying to build some soldiers if possible here. Rifle Norp. The only problem is it's 10,000 shards for a rifle norp. That's what I noticed. There's a weak spot there. Beautiful. That's right. Smash him, soldier. That's a lot of shards. Good thing my mountaineers are there, but I have to maybe spawn some more. There we go. Improve digging as well. I've improved digging and spawn another mountaineer. We'll see if that helps me in the long run. I definitely want to try and increase my weak spots. I found that weak spots really do help quite a bit. That's for the rock, by the way. Then purchase another runner there as well. Very nice. Okay, weak spot frequency. That's what I'll get next, I think. 7,400 of the shards. Okay, just increase my weak spot frequency, everyone. So that should spawn more. I think it's every one and a half minutes now. Let me increase warm up here on the slammers. Build more slammers, see if that helps. Really pumping out those shards now. <laughs> Might even cause a compression event soon, to be honest with you. It's looking pretty intense. As long as that rock's on fire, man, we can really deliver the damage to that rock. I want to try and get break time if possible. I know break time's pretty solid. But the only thing is, the runners take a break until the next compression event. Maybe I'll do that just to see what happens to everyone, so we can get a compression going on. At least we can get the stars then, the Zybelia. I've just purchased break time, everyone, so now my runners are going to stop and pretty much cause a compression event. You can see here already, the compression event's instantly going to happen, by the way. Now look at this. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Game is not playing around, is it? As soon as that rock goes on fire, it starts a compression. There we go. There's my runners kicking off. Beautiful, look at that. Sweet. So now the star's going to be spawning as well. So compression event triggered. All these shards are just being picked up. Wow, man. There's Zybelium there. And then we get Zybelium collection now. So now I have the hot air balloon spawning outwards. I can purchase a balloon gunner as well. Balloon shoots rifle bullets when idle. Okay, I'll get that. There we go. At least it shoots rifle bullets now. We have so many shards, by the way, at this point. Very cool. We now have a grenade launcher troop. Orps with guns now shoot a grenade when reloading. <laughs> cool. You see, the only thing at this point, I need to actually get more housing here, if possible. Let me just do that now. I need more Norps, everyone. Increase capacity there of my runners as well. There's a weak spot there in the rock. Good. We need more damage output now at this point in the game. I can purchase some bombers here if I want to, which I will do now. Then I might get the rifle Norp again. Current damage is 10 shards for the rifle Norp. Okay. They get so much more expensive as well. Wow. Oh, I just saw the grenade shoot across the map there. Let me keep on purchasing slammers as well. I'm assuming that's going to help me. We'll see. We should have our Zybelium. Yes, there it is. Done. We now have a star, guys. This is where a new upgrade's unlocked at this point. So apparently teleportation can be active for the runners if I really want to do it here. Okay. So that's pretty cool. But since I have break time, is there any need for teleportation? Probably not. Let me activate a break mode here so I can do another event. There we go. Just hit the weak spots there as well. Gonna try and cause another compression event, everyone. Let's see how that goes down, hey? I'm gonna get Fire Breath here as well for my Slammers. I'll just use one of the stars there. I think that'll come in handy. Just max out my combo chance. Increase my warm up there to five jumps. And there we have it. Cool. The only thing is they're not motivated anymore because the shards are building up, obviously. That's okay. We'll keep on building them up. I'll keep tapping here as well. See if that helps. <laughs> Probably not, but that's okay. Getting to about halfway, but the only problem is the Mountaineers now doing their job. That's not good. Mountaineers, number one. Have Mountaineers collect the most. Just going to achieve an unlock there. So these Mountaineers are actually going to ruin the break for me anyway. So I might as well make these guys work again for now. Legit. They might as well just work. There's no point. Unless I pause the Mountaineers as well. Is that possible? 
Yes, I can make them rest. Okay, so I can, technically. Maybe my theory will work, everyone. Let's see. We'll put them all to break. And put them to rest. And there we go. Now let's start just generating these shards, hey? We've got the mountain halfway full again for a compression event. I don't know if this is a dumb way to do the compression event or a good way. It's one of those things we're just learning as I go. We're almost at that point now, anyway. It's about to compress. Here we go. Well, we're getting there. Very nice. Then I'm going to make everyone go back to work as soon as the compression event happens. There we go. Compression event. Nice. Alright, so now work. And then you guys down here. Climb. Done. So we'll see how that helps me out. We're actually generating shards again here as well. So off goes my balloon. So close. Just hovering over him. Oh, did he get him? Yeah, he got him. Good job, buddy. Okay, we have more Zybelium coming in soon. Zybelium arrows. Nice. That's pretty cool. We have something called the Gattle Norp. Interesting. It's like a minigun there, is it? Rocket arrows. That sounds cool. All regular arrows become rocket arrows that deal 15 damage, up from 3. Sweet. I just need two Norps for that, so let me build another home here. Additional housing. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. The Norps are getting crowded. We need more housing. Every third house you build, builds another one for free. Sweet. That costs a fortune, though, and you need nine Norps for that. Delivery rush. Runners get a one pixel increase to their speed for short time after delivering shards. Okay. Then you have the GEET protocol. Okay, let me purchase the academy. I've never purchased this building before. This could be a good one. Where's that now being built? On the right side here. Zynorp. Norp with Zynic powers. Lifts shards with their mind energy and sends them to the stash. Gains mind energy based on 40% of shards delivered by runners. Allowing them to lift the equivalent amount. Uh, okay, I guess I'll purchase that. It's going to cost me a shard though, or a star, but... Oh wow, look at him go! Okay, we have a flying little <laughs> Norp there. Interesting. I just thought I'd give him a try. I've never purchased him before. I don't know how good it's going to be or not, but we're sending a lot of things to the stash now. Cool. Yep, it's smashing them over. Very nice. Let me purchase more runners here as well. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good, everyone. We're slowly but surely about to get the next talent point. Let me max out warm up here if I can. Getting close. Combo power might be cool. That's another star, though. I have to cause another event, essentially. There's so much to do in this game, hey. I'm just going to need to build another home here. Start generating some more Norps. There's my balloon just pumping away at this bloody rock. Love that. So my slammers are doing the most damage right now, it seems, as well. Definitely. I can spawn in another rifle norp here as well, everyone, which I will do now. And I might spawn in another slammer as well. There we go. Let's see how that goes for me. Something that I like is that these little slammers end up shooting bullets out of their mouth, dude. We have a weak spot there as well for the rock. Take that. I'm about to get my next talent point as well. Sweet, man. Rifle norps cost so much now as well. Wow. I might actually increase housing again here. I need more norps, everyone. We have a pretty equal balance of collection and damage, by the way. My bombers are doing really nothing for damage at this point. I guess because I haven't really spawned too many of them. I can if I have to here, but I really do want to get the Gattle Norp if possible. Alright, so housing is costing me a fortune now at this point, by the way. Just FYI. Whether or not the Zyne Orp was a good, you know, purchase or not, I'm not too sure. I guess really only time will tell. Let me increase capacity here for my runners. Might as well, right? It all helps in the long run. Because we have a lot of Norps now. We have five of them just idle. I can't even get the Gattle Norp, actually. <laughs> I need to get the star still. Maybe I'll purchase more bombers for now. I know the bombers deal some pretty decent damage all in all. There we go. I purchased a whole bunch of bombers, everyone. Let's see if that helps. We'll see. Together. I mean, it's all extra damage at the end of the day, but who knows. The slammers just seem to be dominating right now, honestly. Just built another house here as well. Maybe just to purchase some more slammers. They seem to be the best unit for me right now. Especially damage-wise. But same with the guns, though, actually. If that's from the slammers again, once you think about it. I got my next talent point, by the way, everyone. Cool stuff. Have you noticed that one of those little, like, collectors, the mine warp ones, have literally equaled half of the collection rate as the runners that I have? I only have one of them, and I have, like, 20 runners. That's hilarious, by the way. So I guess they are quite powerful. And purchase some more slammers there. I'm just going to spam slammers at this point. We'll see if that works. My little tactic, everyone. Should I try and cause another event and see if that works as well? I don't think I have enough damage right now to actually cause that next compression event. The game's screwing me over, everyone. It's going back into the rock. Let me get back to work quickly and try and cause some more damage here if I can. We have a lot of shards, by the way. Seriously, a ton. I think for now I'm just going to purchase more of these slammers, everyone. They seem to just be doing the most damage possible here. Legit. You can see my little runners sprinting around here. I can increase capacity for them again. I reckon I might do. Okay, so I have 23 slammers, everyone. Cool stuff. We have a 6 multiplication, by the way. 
that's on the damage multiplier. You see, at this point, is it worth me prestiging again, I wonder? Hmm. Let's prestige again. Why not? We'll grab that extra talent point there. And off we go. We now have prestige expedience. As long as we have fewer than infinite Norps, we need more. As long as we have fewer than infinite shards, we need more. You start with one Norp per spent talent point. Oh, cool. Clicking is twice as effective, and holding down the mouse button is twice as fast. You can click anywhere on the pile to move shards. That's great. Okay. That's for the clicker builds there. Super Shatter. That's for, it looks like, ice. Rifle bullets can choose between ice arrows and fire arrows. That's pretty cool. I reckon I might choose that, to be honest with you. The flow is a pretty good one as well. I might get rid of the bomber one and get the flow. Let's apply. Okay, done. We start off with 11 Norps. That's pretty cool. So let me just smash down this little rock. <laughs> Begin. So I can tap anywhere on the pile here. Yes, I can. It automatically applies now. So I don't have to tap the top of it anymore. Let's go to Slam Club and let's go to the Express. Let's turn on Auto Housing. And we're beginning here again, everyone. Get ready. Build a whole bunch of runners to start off with. Just generate those shards. And then I get going with my Slammers. Slammers really carried me last time, I think. Honestly, they're very, very powerful little creatures. Where did he just go? What was that? I don't know if that was a good talent or not. We'll find out soon enough, right? But that's just sending them going, like, literally across the map. Let me increase capacity here of my runners as well. Then build extra housing. Well, housing's on anyway, so that's fine. Just imagine when we motivate our slammers to do two times the damage as well. Just purchasing more slammers straight away. We have 10 slammers now in total, everyone. Very, very nice. So remember, my click damage has actually increased at this point in the game. So I can keep on spamming here, essentially, and do more damage than my slammers at the moment, in theory. But I won't do that, because I don't want to hurt my finger. <laughs> Just sitting there spamming all day. Let's build the House of Shards. Let's build more runners as well. Maybe 10 runners in total. So we have 10 slammers and 10 runners. I can give them extra warm-up jumps, though, for extra damage each jump. So I can literally hold down my mouse on this rock now, and it actually does pretty decent damage all in all. Cool. That should help me generate some of the shards here, at least. Let me go, first of all, the... Hmm. Archery range, thank you. And I think that's it just for now. Maybe rock analysis lab as well. So archery range and the rock analysis lab. Okay. So I can get the weak spot discovery, which will help a lot. Just trying to generate as much of the shards as I can here at this point. I need my little runners to go faster. Or should I increase their capacity? Maybe their capacity I'll increase. That'll probably help a bit, I think. Just holding down my mouse here on the shards as well to push them downfield a bit more. Or should I deal more damage? Probably just deal damage to the rock, I think, at this point. Cool. Gonna get fire arrows here. There we go. Then we go weak spot next. This should all help, guys, hopefully. We have a lot of Norps just sitting there doing nothing. Maybe we'll purchase more slammers and more runners. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Haha, <laughs> nice. Bro, are we going to cause an event already? Surely not. Did you see that just then? That was intense. We almost caused a collapse straight away. That got very, very close. Alright, so we're sitting almost 5,000 now of the shards, everyone. What should we do next here? Let's go weak spot discovery, thank you. That should give me a ton of shards here. Just instantly. Yup. There you go, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. Let me do warm up there as well. Make my little slammers a bit more powerful. I think I'm definitely going to have more slammers here, dude. Because the thing is now, they get sent so far away when they slam into that rock. So it takes them a while to come back. Okay, well, this is all going pretty good down here at least. Let me just increase my runners again. 15 runners now in total. Let me go for a speed increase here, guys, as well. Just need 3,300 of these little shards. Cool stuff. Okay, I'm going to go speed increase now. There we go. Beautiful. And increase capacity a bit. So now we should actually start collecting these shards a lot faster at least. There you have it. Now, the thing is, at this point, everyone, do I want to get the Mountaineers or not? Hmm. We have the Propulsion Lab there for the Bombers, which I don't really care about the Bombers, though. That's the thing. Let's go Mountaineer. I have one Mountaineer spawn at the moment, because I don't think I need anything else. I think we're doing pretty decent all in all. Oh, there's a weak spot there. Nice. Give me those extra shards, baby. Combo chance increase. Definitely need... That can add extra damage big time to my Slammers. I still have Auto Housing on, by the way, so keep that in mind, everyone. <laughs> Let me increase capacity here of my Runners. I think I should purchase more slammers as well to begin with. It's probably going to get a bit expensive now. I've got to be careful of that. So at the moment, my slammers are doing the most damage by far. I want to try and build the soldiers next so I can get them to shoot the fire arrows instead of bullets. Man, that weak spot ability is so powerful. Seriously. It's almost worth me trying to just level that up specifically as well if I can. All right, we're on 10,000 of the shards now, everyone. There we go. So I'm going to buy the gun rock. Now, rifle norp. Use fire arrows. There you have it. 
This is going to completely change the momentum of gameplay here. Because if I can light that rock on fire, right, all the time, that means we're going to do bigger damage to it. Especially thanks to my slammers. So we'll see if that works out the way I want it to. Yes, it does. Wonderful. We can always keep that rock on fire now, pretty much. This is huge, man. Absolutely huge. Okay. Definitely going to build more of the rifle norps, for sure. Just because that added damage. You'd be silly not to, right? There we go. You can buy another one now, I think. Yes, I can. 40,000 for the next one, which I reckon I might even do that as well. Oh, we've caused a, an event here of the compression. That was unexpected. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, everyone. Good old compression event out of nowhere. Cool. Let's get Zybelium collection there. And purchase a balloon gunner as well, so he does damage when he's just sitting there doing nothing. Nice. That's great. See what I mean? Adding fire, bro. It just changes the whole dynamic of the gameplay. I might even cause another event sooner or later here. That bar's just going mental at the bottom of the screen. I need 40,000 of the shards now, though. Let's see if I can get them soon enough. I can make it when they reload as well, my soldiers, right? They shoot a grenade. So it's even better. My fire's doing the most damage now out of everything. Okay, just purchased... Oh, no, I can't. I need to get another house. I was say I was about to purchase another rifle norp, but I didn't have enough housing. Okay, we'll get that in a second here. I think we're still collecting pretty decently, but I need to maybe push it back a bit more. So what I can do, I guess, is do break time, potentially. Runners immediately take a break until the next compression event. Well, it's too late for now, isn't it? Because I already just had a compression event. That's the thing. I don't know. I'll purchase break time for now. I'm going to purchase the rifle norp again, everyone. Oh, yeah, another compression event's about to happen again. Nice, dude. Okay, well, my balloon's already got one of the stars. <laughs> That's excellent. Now my runners are just going crazy. We are doing super, super good. There's the next star, by the way. Nice. So I at least have two soldiers on the field now. Pretty much continuously keeping that rock on fire, which is exactly what I needed. Let me increase the combo and the max jumps that I can get from my slammers. And I'll try and get the grenades next as well. Grenade launcher. Just need another extra norp. Zybelium arrows unlocked. So pretty much because I got Zybelium. Cool. Let's build the next housing. Turn on auto housing as well for now. Just to get some more population. Things are really heating up now. Grenade launcher. There we go. Done. I might do the Gattle Norp this time, everyone. Seriously. I'm thinking about it, man. I need four Norps for that, though. But I just really want to give it a try. I think it could help me quite a bit. These grenades are going off now as well. That's very helpful. These boys are letting the shards come down too close here. I need to do something about that. Motivation's not active. Let's go delivery rush. There we go. Done. Now my slammers are on fire to deal more damage, hopefully. Deals 30 times slammer damage as fire. That's fire breath. That's a good one. I might get that, actually. That's a very good ability, I feel. I just purchased a whole bunch of slammers as well. Alright, so my slammer's going to deal extra damage now. You might see a lot of shards coming in here, everyone. Get ready for this, bro. I think it's on their seventh hit, if I'm correct. Something like that. We'll see. I'm thinking about the Gatling ability as well, though. That's the thing. Hopefully that star hurries up there. These boys need to collect faster. Maybe can I increase the capacity or something? Yeah, there we go. I can. Okay, good. I was going to say, they're taking so long. I think they just need a capacity increase. Okay, they can now collect up to 20 of the shards per worker there. Good. I'm just sending these shards so far. Jeez. That's better now. Motivation's back on effect. This balloon's slowly going back to base here. Very slowly. So the star is available, and I'm going to, I think... Hmm, I'm not going to do anything just yet because I want to get the Gattle Norp. I reckon that'll be a cool ability. Done. Just got the Gattle Norp. Let's see what that does. There's the Gattle Norp. Awesome. Keep shooting faster and faster. Dude, that's so cool. Love it. Now I need these boys to hurry up. They need to collect faster. I want motivation to stay on continuously. So now if I pause everything, if I break everyone here, can I do another event? Let's see. Can I cause another event to happen here, everyone? I reckon I can. We seem to be doing quite a bit of damage now. We might actually cause another compression event to happen. Yep. I reckon we're going to do it. Definitely. Especially once the Gatling Nort comes back down. Here he comes. Nah, we got it. Compression event's about to happen here. Awesome. Okay. Everyone's back to work again. Another compression event. Now a star should generate sooner or later here. But that's how we do it, guys. Still haven't got another talent point, funny enough, though. Need more of a collection rate at this point in the game. Let me purchase more runners to try and get the next talent point. Just spam runners and capacity. Increase collection rate. Yeah, that's working like wonders. Look at that. Okay, should get my next point soon enough. We'll see. Just absolutely spamming shards at this point. Getting bombarded by the Gatling Norp. I love that guy. Seriously. What a legend. 
So close to the next talent. Come on, game. Don't mess me around here. Bro, look at this right now. This is insane. I mean, I'm hoping teleportation was the right option there. Because I can increase the speed, apparently, of these little collectors as well if I have to. Let me turn off auto house now. I can turn off teleport as well, but do I want to turn off teleport? I don't know. I guess. Maybe teleport wasn't the best option just then. Interesting. Teleport actually slowed me down. That's a good learning experience there, guys. For what I need to do right now, teleport maybe wasn't the best option. I wasn't expecting that. Let me build some more runners again quickly. Just increase that collection rate a bit more. I want the next talent point, then I'm going to prestige. Increase capacity a bit more there. Not, not too sure if that actually matters or not, but we'll see. So now I'm turning on teleportation because the shards are further away, right? Than what they can make in the distance, I'm assuming. See, that bar is so close to being filled up now, man. Wow. That is so ridiculous how close it is to being filled up. I mean, I can assist, obviously, by tapping on the screen here as well, or just by holding down my mouse button. Yeah, there we go. We got it. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got our next talent point. I'm going to prestige everyone. That was crazy. What a crazy experience this turned into, hey? Honestly. Let's prestige. Done. Cool stuff. So much to do in this game, hey? All right, we now have nine of the points, guys. There you have it. Thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you all tomorrow for another one. Hope you enjoyed.